sleep I'm just too excited you know I'm just way too excited what a week it's been on the streets man it's wild you know um, I just want to give I want to share some testimonies I want to continue to encourage you to keep praying keep praying listen guys if you know if you if you feel that God has called you wait a minute, let me take that back we're all called you know we're all called to share, to follow Jesus, to do what he did, to walk the way he walked. And Jesus was a fire-breathing evangelist, man. But listen, evangelism is not what you think. Listen, guys, don't worry about going out on the streets and handing out Bible tracts. Don't worry about doing outreaches with your church. Those things are planned. People know they're planned. Listen, man, you just gotta start praying about loving people and asking God to put people in your path. See, if people are not ready to receive Holy Spirit, you're just, you're just banging your head against the wall. Only God, only God can change your heart. But you have to ask him, you have to pray that he will use you. He will use you to speak his name. And it, and it will start slowly. He will begin to give you courage and power to speak his name everywhere you go. That fear will be lifted. See, the fear that you have is that you're worried what people think about you, you see? And when you act normal in this world, that looks weird to God. <laughs> it does. If you want to look normal to God, then you need to be speaking about God and telling people about what his son what his son did for you. I think my lights just went out. We're having a, a power surge there. But uh, you see, guys, so listen, it's, it's about prayer. Let me share some amazing testimonies just from the last few days, okay? Um, I was on the phone this week with a doctor. Uh, he's, he's an oncologist. Uh, he's also an attorney. And um, he was talking with me about, and he was diagnosed with MS. And I said to him, I said, you know what? I said, God can heal MS. I, I said that to him. I said, God can heal MS. I said, listen, Jesus, the Bible tells us that Jesus raised the dead, the blind could see, the deaf could hear, and the cripple could walk. Okay? I said to him, it's a no-brainer. And I prayed with him. And I prayed from the bottom of my heart, without any doubt in my heart, that Jesus would eradicate that. I spoke with him the following day, and he called me up. He says, John, I don't know what's going on but my limp is gone. He says, John, I'm a doctor. I can't explain this, but I'm not limping. I have feeling back in the bottom of my leg. He says, I don't know what you did, but please keep praying. Listen, guys, when you see a healing, don't always expect people to jump up and down and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. See, sometimes people can't believe it themselves. You just keep praying and God is gonna heal them. That was yesterday. I was, in, I was in the store, I was in Cumberland Farms yesterday, my favorite ministry, and there was a woman behind me. And you know, I looked at her, I said, hey, can I buy you coffee? She goes, you wanna buy my coffee? I said, yeah. And she says, you know what? I've got $3 left on this debit card. Thank you very much. I said, hey man, it's, it's not me. I said, it's God, you know? I said, God just told me to, to buy you a coffee and, and I want you to know he loves you very much and I want you to have a blessed day. And by the way, what's your name? And she told me your name. And guess what? She buys her coffee there every day. I'll see her again. You see, what's cool about ministering inside of a, a place where you go a lot um, is people, the same people are coming every day. And as you get buying coffees for people and saying hello to people before you know it, you know everybody, man. You see, so not only can you share the name of Christ, but you can see these people on an ongoing basis, and every time you see them, you give them a little more encouragement. Just a little more of this, a little more of that, you know? I've got a whole car full of Bibles, and you know, I, I only give those out in certain times, you know? I, I don't wanna throw those in people's faces. I wanna get to know somebody first, and I want, to, I want them to know that I love them. And you know, because I pray every day, and I ask, people, I ask God every day, 
for, to, for that love of Christ, I, it, it's amazing how, you, how it will manifest in your life and you start to feel a real love for people. Okay? And before we go, I'm going to share a prayer with you that I want you to start saying every single day, especially before you go out uh, into the world. Um, this week, I was in Middletown with my, my son-in-law, who I, I love like a son. And uh, we went into a coffee shop, and I said, let's just pray. You know, let's pray that God would put someone in our path. And, you know, we walked that morning in 12-degree weather, and we must have walked by 15, 20 people. We didn't talk to anybody. We didn't talk to anybody. And then suddenly I saw this man, and I said to my son-in-law, I said, that's the guy. I just, I'm telling you guys, I can't, it's supernatural. I felt it. And, and he walked by us so quickly that my son-in-law said, ah, maybe we shouldn't follow the guy. Maybe we shouldn't, you know, sneak up behind him. And I said, I said, I don't know. All right. You know, so we kept walking. We saw about 10 more people, you know. We come around to a bus stop, and we're standing there. And I'm just standing there talking. I look to my right, and that guy was right next to me. And this happens every time. I don't know why I get so excited every time this happens. And I looked at the guy and I said, hey man, dude, can I pray for you? And he goes, bro, I need prayer, man. He told me his son was sick, his friend was in the, the courtroom. And um, I prayed with this guy and he says, thank you so much, I really needed that. And I got to meet this guy and talk with this guy. And my son-in-law is gonna go back out and see him again, man, you see? We're right in his hometown. He'll be out and about. We'll see him again. We'll see him buying coffee. You know, it's guys, listen, man, this is so amazing. Listen, I want to keep this about six minutes, all right? But listen, here's your prayer. Father, Father, today, Lord God, let me be your hands on this earth. God, we know you work through people. Father, work through me, Lord. Let your love shine through me, God. Give me your eyes. Let me see what you see. Let me hear what you hear, Father. And empower me, Lord God. Give me the words. Lord God, if there is somebody out there today who is broken, who is hurting, who needs your love, God, someone that you are ready to, 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 to just uh, empower with the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, use me, God. Use me in a mighty way, God, because it's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. And Father, I thank you, and I come to you only and always in the name of my precious Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, man. That's your prayer. All right, guys. Just go out there. Be loud. Be proud. Pray and believe, and you will receive. Lay it down for the crown, because that guy in the sky, oh, he